I came here as a freshman, so I just looked up online best places to live, and Hill was like the last. So on my list, I put Hill as last. I remember I put quad, 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 something here, like the other, and then Hill. And then I ended up at Hill. And honestly, it was one of the best things that happened to me freshman year, because freshman year was really rough for me. As a freshman, I came in here knowing nothing in terms of college experience. And that community, those friends, those assets that I made from Hill College House helped me get through, especially first semester freshman year, where I honestly had no idea what I was doing. So this building is, I think, become really widely um, admired by uh, Penn folks who've been here for a while, uh, not only for its architectural qualities, but for its social success. Uh, Saarinen designed into it a, a sort of nesting set of arrangements for the people who lived in it. So you go from the room to the lounges that are on the floor to your sense of being a part of a quadrant of space and then ultimately to the shared spaces that is out in the middle. Here in Hill College House, you know, the, the rooms are super tiny. That hasn't, that hasn't changed. Even though there's air conditioning, you're still kind of forced to come out of your room. The social lounges are always hectic and, and full of people. So, you know, you're in your room, it's quiet and small. And there's people outside that are like laughing and talking. They're like, oh, I guess I'll go outside. And I mean, I have to make friends anyway. So there's something that pushes people out of their safe space or comfort zone to go and, and make friends and, and foster that sense of community that I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard in any other college house. When I describe this project, I often tell people that it's a series of really smart, small moves. I think people who are coming in here for the first time just may assume it's always been air conditioned and that it's always had elevators and lifts and that it's always been accessible. So a lot of the sort of challenging interventions here, I think are things that people might take for granted and, uh, uh, and not realize how difficult they are. Things like moving the laundry, the laundry room up from the basement to, the, to a, an upper floor and putting it next to a student lounge. So the notion is you're gonna do your laundry, you may not walk all the way back to your room, you might hang out. Uh, so th I mean, something as seemingly sim simple as that. We're really excited about this building, and I think that everything that's been done is sort of in this original spirit, both architectural and social spirit, but it has definitely changed. I think that having a place like this that pushes you out of your comfort zone is really important because as a freshman you're leaving everything you had behind. It's a whole new world that they're in, and they need to break that comfort zone. They need to make new family. They need to make new social connections, networks, etc. that this house sort of pushes you to make.